Off the mark, one-handed board by Raglan. They'll reset with Fegan, and he makes Columbia pay. Cooper's that energizer, bunny-type player that the Lions have in their toolbox. Nolan to step back three, count times this season. So that's not a flash. Tavroff hands back over to Nolan, spots up in the lane and floats it in first time. Well, that started on the defensive end, and that's what the Lions have to do. Other out-of-bounds play, they let go in for a quick basket. A minute for Cornell. They've hit their last three. Columbia has hit five of its last seven. Rubio De La Rosa finds the opening. Bounce. And Williams there for the rebound. Nord has two threes in this game. Leaves it underneath for Hansen and Cornell. League. Given the fact that they lost talent last season, yet the depth on full display. Nolan back the other way, three on three break, hesitates and finishes. McLean bounces it inside to Pedri. And Cornell trying to hold on to hope that maybe they could get another share of an Ivy League title this season. Ragland in circles. By the Lions coming down to finish the play. Blair Thompson up to 13. And how about Nazir Ray on the smaller Cooper. Okurake from the corner. Are you kidding me? As Columbia needs to get a spark on offense. And Cooper does a good job right there in back pursuit. And the fourth of his career. And now Columbia throwing two defenders his way. Nord left alone. And he makes Columbia has come through with a sizable second half run to pull away from Columbia as Raglan just leaves his instant pen game later today. They capitalize off the Brown win over Yale, 98-70.